back guys i am back for my review on the torn lpm and it's been about a year and a half since i've owned the bag and today i just wanted to sh do a short and sweet review on the bag and it's you know flaws that have, that have happened to it in this year and a half so far so for starters there is a little crack in the glazing now the canvas is fine the leather is fine it's just the glazing now I'm not too worried about it because I think I did it by not properly storing it. I can I use a container of damp red to keep all the excess moisture out of my closet, but I forgot to empty it for a while. So when I saw it, it was completely full of water, and I think that's what happened to the strap. Now my other issue with the bag is I have a little bit of corner wear that um I think I caused as well wearing the bag crossbody with my um, speedy bandolier strap. Um, and on prompt, it's black just like this, so it matches. I like to wear it crossbody. So I'm not going to zoom in on it because I don't have good camera quality, but it's a small scrape. It doesn't go to the um, black fabric that is under this coated canvas. It is the slightest scratch, um, barely noticeable, but it's there. And I just want to mention, of course, the corner and the strap to you guys because if you have these issues, it would be perfect if you guys commented below so I know that it wasn't just me you know as a you know something that I've done to the bag but perhaps it's defective I hope it's not of course but if it's happened to you in the same spot please let me know of course because this wealth of information we can share on YouTube is amazing so besides those two flaws the rest of the bag has been perfect now I know some people were concerned about these side straps um, I, people don't like how they curve up. As you see mine, they're pretty flat. Uh, I've seen a few on the pre-love market that are curled, so I guess it just kind of depends on how you wear your bag, how often you wear it, maybe how you expose it to the elements and stuff like that, but as you see mine are fine. As for the top, uh, zipper here, there's no cracks on the canvas. I have inspected this thing with like a microscope and there are no apparent cracking. Zipper works perfectly fine. Glazing on the bag itself, besides the strap, the glazing on the bag has been pretty much perfect. I haven't seen any melting, peeling, none of that. It's been great. Uh, the hardware is perfect in gold, no excess tarnishing, and the feet as well have no excess tarnishing. I don't set it on the floor very often. I try not to put on any hard surfaces, so there's barely a whiff of wear on these feet. So, interior is perfect. I haven't had any abnormal wear with the interior fabric. I don't use this pocket. It is mainly just for show. If you guys have a, a perfect use for it or something interesting, I would love to know what you guys store in that pocket, because for me, it's just, <laughs> it's just for show. But, um... These D-rings are good as well. No abnormal tarnishing. Even, um, I guess I could show that too on this, on my strap um, clasp. Clasps are, are still good. And uh, no abnormal wear with them either. So, besides that, I think I touched on everything. Besides the corner and the strap, I think the bag has held up pretty well. I think if the bag was truly defective, there would be a lot more to talk about, but for now, that is it. I love this bag. It is, as far as I know, it's been discontinued um, from the LV website. I haven't seen it in stock for months. There might still be some floating around. I know just like how they have the reverse Pochette Matisse pop up every now and then on the website. Maybe the Tornell has the same thing going on, but so far I haven't seen any. So the only way you can get this bag now is on the pre-love market. There is a few. They even have some in the coveted red that weren't so widely released. So if you see one of those for a good price, snap it up. <laughs> so that is it for me today. I hope this video helped you either identify problems with your own bag, um, swayed you into buying it, maybe not buying it, maybe it's not the bag for you, but so far I've really enjoyed this bag and it's so unique. I think the two videos I've uploaded on my Tornell previously, they're the most highest viewed um, 
videos on my channel and I think it's because this bag is just so unique and it's a showstopper. You don't see it very often. So I hope this gives you a little bit of insight. I hope this maybe clarifies some questions you had. If not, please leave me a question below. I will answer it. If you guys want to talk to me more, you can find me on Instagram under Leah's Luxuries. I am also on Facebook, but that's my business page. You can contact me there as well if you'd like. Leah's Luxuries as well. And of course, I have two Facebook groups. I would love you guys to join all about Louis Vuitton. It is the Louis Vuitton community and Louis Vuitton handbag club. I will link everything down below. So besides that, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great day or a great night after this. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.